Hello and welcome. My name is Tyrion Lannister. All right, today, as you can see, I want to talk about the hunting festival. I want to specifically break down exactly what you get for how many black diamonds. And I think a very similar shop that we can compare this to is the Together in Winter shop. Um, unfortunately, that event isn't up right now, so you're going to have to just trust me. I've done my research. I have many videos and recordings of that shop, and I have down all the data that it contains. So I'm going to go through that in just a minute with you. But first, let's talk a little bit about this event. So the way this one works is that you need to buy hunting arrows in order to get all these different wonderful prizes that they have. Um, as you can see, each arrow will get you one set of these things. I've already used a couple of arrows. You get one for free. Then you can, by clicking this plus, you can buy one more with gold dragons. One, It's two million gold dragons, one with 10k blue diamonds, and then you can buy up to 75 more for 40 black diamonds each. Just doing some quick math, 40 black diamonds times 75 would be 3,000 black diamonds in total. So 3,000 black diamonds would get you all of the rewards that are on here. It's not a scaling thing. It's not like once you've bought more, it costs more arrows to do another shot. One shot, one arrow, that's the way this event goes. So for 3,000 black diamonds, you would get 3,000 black diamonds technically and 2 million gold and 10,000 blue diamonds, but those are nothing compared to it. Um, you get 1,000 refined rough, 15 epic general tokens, 50 legendary experience scrolls, um, 30,000 blessing stones, 30 SS medals, 10 24 hour speed ups, 50 friendship chests, uh, 1,500 marks of the true dragon, and 3,000 hundred ancient scriptures and one of this magical red chest here now this red chest looks like the rare exterior selection chest it is not it is way way better instead this is the dragon passive skill selection chest you get to choose a dragon red ancient skill um, I think that probably the most popular ones here are going to be the reroute skill or the legion healing skill. Um, I think that the counter skill is also fairly popular. Some people may like the legion damage skill or the legion survival skill. Um, if you're a rally leader, maybe the assembly skill. You know, that can be another video where you can discuss which one to choose. I would probably not do the army health or defense one. Um, maybe army attack, but on the whole, lots of good things to choose from. Lots of interesting things that will buff your dragon a lot. So, as I said, I want to compare this to the Together in Winter shop, because realistically, that's the only other place that you can get those dragon skills. All right, so let's keep this in mind. 3,000 black diamonds for all this stuff. Okay, so I've got that listed up here, and I've put down all of what you get here. Um, actually, this is wrong. This should be 50. There we go. Sorry. All the rest of that should be right, though. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. So we've got that, and I want to just be clear that um, we're going to basically be comparing this to the, the Together in Winter shop, and we're going to say, like, okay, we're using 300 fragments of the dragon skill um we're gonna say that you know if you want to get the 300 fragments we're gonna do it the smartest possible way and that is to just do 50 spins each time that gives you a guaranteed 30 fragments now obviously you could do um you go crazy and buy like 800 spins and then you get enough fragments to do whatever you want that's a really ineffective way of, uh, of getting these from a black diamond saving perspective. And I want to focus on if we're doing this as economic as possible, which is better. So if we look at the just kind of, okay, I just care about getting to the dragon skill. All the rest of it is just bonuses, and I'm not going to care about them yet. Let's just focus on that. So we're going to focus on needing 300 fragments to get one of those dragon skills, which are the same for the most part as these. Um, okay, so if you're going to do that, the way to do it is we're going to get 13 for free each time just because there are 10 that you get through blue diamonds and gold, and then you also get the 3 from getting to 10, so you get 13 for free. Then if you buy 4 of the 5 key packs, that's 50 black diamonds each, so 20 keys for 100 black diamonds if you're using the 50% coupons on each, which is hard, it requires you to plan, um, or... 
And then you're also going to need at least one of the 15 key packs, which are 200 black diamonds each. So you get 15 keys for 100 black diamonds if you're using the 50% coupons again. If not, this would be 200 and 200. Now, I've put here that effectively you're getting your 50 keys. This actually adds up to 48 for the record. I know, you know, if just one time you buy an extra pack, that'll cover you for the most part. Um... I'm, I'm not going to get into the math just because for the simplicity of the numbers, it's a lot easier to just pretend that this uh, is enough for 50 keys. I find it a little bit annoying that it's not. Uh, it usually means that I have to, you know, binge at some point for a second uh, 15 key pack, which I very rarely have uh, enough 50% to then get all of the rest of mine for 50%. So it kind of throws everything off. But Again, we're just going to ignore that for a second and pretend we live in a wonderful world where that's enough. So, effectively, you get 200 for 200 black diamonds with coupons or 400 black diamonds without coupons. Um, it'll get you 30 frags minimum, but it's really likely to get 35 to 40 in reality. I think that you usually can expect to get either 5 or 10 um, extra fragments just from rolling the, the wheel 50 times. Um... And let's like let's first just assume that we're not getting any extra fragments. We'll assume it's just the 30. So that means at a minimum you're gonna need 10 events where you're getting it, you know, 50 each time. So you get you get the 30 frags, uh, fragments, and that means you get up to 300. So a minimum of 2,000 black diamonds. And then if you don't use coupons, it's a minimum of 4,000 black diamonds. So that's like the absolute worst case scenario you get no extra fragments the entire time um that means so that comparatively is definitely like interesting that you're seeing that if you're smart and use coupons every time it's still better to do it in this shop if you're not using coupons even though you are being economical here it's still better to do the 3000 black diamonds so point being you know doing this economically and being smart about just doing 30 each time is good if you're going to actually be good about using your coupons. If you're not, you're better off just going to this event and binging through that, um, and that's going to actually be a much better way of you getting that arrow, um, or sorry, of you getting that uh, red, red dragon skill. Now, uh, to be very clear, there's also a big difference between waiting for 10 events and getting something immediately. There's always inherent value in the amount of time it takes to get something. So I don't want I do want to underscore that and be clear that from a like if you want it immediately, the arrow shop is definitely the arrow event, sorry, is definitely a way better way to get that than going crazy on keys. Like the keys scale up a ton where the more of your them that you're buying, the less keys you get per black diamond. So it's a way worse and worse deal. Um and you can just buy keys for I think it's I think it's uh twenty black diamonds per it might be might be ten. I'm honestly not sure off the top of my head. I think 10 wouldn't make sense because then they wouldn't make the 15 keys one be I think it's 20 I think it's 20 per but I'm, I don't know that off the top of my head I think it's 20 keys per uh, or 20 black diamonds per key but either way um point being this is how you do that so now let's go back and say like let's pretend that we're going to get a little bit more lucky than that and say that we get about 50 fragments each time which is probably like the best case scenario i would say if you're getting 50 fragments that's really good but that would mean that you could do this in six rounds because 50 fragments need to get to 300 50 times 6 is 300 so six times means you get it in 1200 black diamonds with with coupons or 2400 black diamonds without coupons it would still take six events which is probably going to be more more or less like six to 12 months i think it's a it's either one or two um months between each one of those together in winter events um, i think it's just one but it feels so long that i'm not sure um but okay so point being that you know if you're getting lucky obviously it's better to do the wheel because there's some luck involved in that uh now let's also remind ourselves that whenever we do one of those spins we also have a chance to win one of these prizes down here and you'll see that there are a lot that are in common with the ones up here I went ahead and starred the ones that are unique. So like the ancient scriptures, you cannot get ancient scriptures from that wheel. You also cannot get blessing stones and you cannot get epic tokens or refined rough, but you can get the experience, the the dragon experience. You can get SS medals, you can get speeds, you can get marks of the dragon and you can get friendship chests. Technically you get purple friendship chests, but you know, it's all the same. 
Um, things that are unique down here, you cannot get the 75% boots, you cannot get more diamonds, um, you cannot get badges, and you also, yeah, that's that, those are the only ones that are unique. These are all the ones that are the same as up top. So that's kind of the breakdown of like what's what you're also getting. And I would say that in general, um, you get a lot more stuff from doing this one. Like you don't get some of these unique things. So you don't get the ancient scriptures, you don't get the blessing stones, you don't get the epic tokens, which maybe that's really valuable to you and you care a lot about. But I would say like, let's say you're just, let's best case scenario it again. If you're doing it six times, that's 300 spins, which again, that would be extraordinarily lucky if you're doing that view. But so 300 spins of this is going to get you um, a lot more of the like stuff here than, than you would if you just did the arrows. So like, let's take a look at the SS medals. We need 30 of those 300 to be SS medals. I think that's very reasonable to expect. Um, you know, between these two and three gold uh, experience, we need 50. So are we going to get 10 between the two of them? Like, probably, I would expect so. Um, so again, point being, I, I would expect you to probably do a lot better um, with the extra stuff on this shop as well. So I think that the overall takeaway is that if you're looking for an immediate gain, obviously the arrow shop is better than doing the immediacy of the uh, the together in winter wheel. If you're trying to do that immediately, it is just crazy, crazy expensive and you're not getting as much back. I would definitely say if you want to do it immediately, if you are willing to spend that type of money, do this shop. If, on the other hand, you are more willing to be patient, you're going to use your coupons well, then I definitely would say that Together in Winter Shop is a better way to go because that's going to be a much more like efficient usage of your black diamonds and you're going to get a lot more stuff from it in the long run. I think that that's kind of my overall takeaway is like, as with everything, if you use coupons and you're willing to be patient, there is a cheaper way to do it. I mean, you just saw that, like, in theory, you could get one of these for just 1,200 black diamonds, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Like, that's a very, very, very good deal if you're being smart and being effective about it. And I'm sure there are people that are thinking to themselves that they've spent close to, you know, 5,000 black diamonds because they were, you know, binging through the wheel really quickly, and it's a lot more expensive that way, um, which I just think is, is interesting to realize just how cheap you can make it if you're getting a little lucky and you're using coupons properly. Um, again, there were some caveats in making this, and I, I hope I was clear about them. I don't want anyone to feel misled, but um, I hope this broke down for you kind of where to best get different dragon skills, what those events are, and how they, they kind of work. Um, like I said, I actually did a Together in Winter shop like efficiency video about like what's the best things to buy in that shop a while back. Um, so you can definitely check that out, and you can see that uh, that shop. That's a different thing than the actual wheel just to be clear but just to be fair that I, I did make that and if people wanted to check it out they certainly can but um, I hope this was helpful and until next time my name is Tyrion Lannister I'll see you then